dear students this is your uh, strategic cost management teacher in this video i am going to brief about chapter number 2 of strategic cost management it deals with an important component of strategic cost management namely cost management techniques so how can we manage various cost elements what are the tools that can be applied for controlling various cost elements of a business organization it may be a manufacturing concern or service rendering organization right there are two important uh, components in this chapter namely cost control and cost reduction uh, both are self explanatory in nature what is cost control process of controlling the total cost to be incurred for manufacturing something or total cost to be incurred for rendering a service it talks about total cost to be incurred for manufacturing a product or service moreover it is temporary in nature maybe uh, we may be focusing on cost control uh, for next next 3 months or next 4 months or next 10 days this concept is called as cost control for which we had to set standards we had to measure the actual performance we had to compare the standards with the actual performance there is any deviation which can be reduced by applying some corrective measures it is called as cost control then what is cost reduction actually the next topic is uh, very clear differences between cost control and cost reduction if we know the meaning of cost control as well as cost reduction it is very easy to differentiate up these two components now come to the point what is cost reduction process of reducing unit price of a product or process of reducing the cost of every unit of a product or service is called as cost reduction hope you can easily understand the difference between cost control as well as cost reduction what is that cost control focuses on reducing total cost to be incurred for producing a commodity what about cost reduction it talks about unit price or sorry it talks about unit cost of a product so for example uh, last month we produced a pencil for rupees 5 now we are able to reduce unit cost from 5 to 4.50 it is called as cost reduction what about cost control for producing some 10 pencil we incurred 50 last month now we can reduce this 50 to rupees 49 that is total cost of 50 can be reduced can be curtailed up to rupees 49 we have saved rupee 1 it is called as cost control hope it is clear the next topic of this chapter number 2 is pareto analysis it is very simple what is pareto analysis if you ask achieving something at a minimized cost as well as uh, a minimum efforts according to this analysis 100 percentage of uh, a, a job or work can be completed with 20 percentage of efforts we need not take 100 percentage efforts for completing a job i can give a simple example two students are there one is spending 10 hours for securing centum in a subject namely mathematics another student is there he or she spends only 2 hours she is able she or he is able to secure centum The, the second student has saved up 80 percentage of the time according to pareto analysis a uh, employees can save 80 percentage of the available time for achieving the given target hope it is clear the next topic is target casting i think i have mentioned about target casting in the previous chapter what is target casting a target is fixed in terms of cost of production a best example is a uh, tata nano car initially they fixed up the total production cost it is 1 lakh so they ratan tata announced that he will launch a car with a cost of rupees 1 lakh people were not believing the statement given by ratan tata but he implemented uh, his statement his promise right 
uh, how how come it was it was possible for Ratan Tata to offer a car at rupees one lakh, within which he he was able to manufacture a car by using uh, required raw materials. So his target was very clear. The total cost must be rupees one lakh, within which all the required materials are to be procured. He he didn't compromise with the quality and all. Hope it hope you are aware of. Uh, Uh, Tata Nano car, isn't it? So within one lakh, he was able to produce a car. That is the best example for target casting. That is, uh, within the expected uh, level of cast, goods or services are to be offered, right? Then last one is life cycle casting. Uh, like every human being, that is, every human being has his or her own life stages. Isn't it uh, from birth to death? Various stages are there. In the same way, every product or every service has its own stages. Ah, uh, it can be classified into some uh, five categories: introduction, growth, maturity, saturation, and decline. Nothing but product life cycle. Hope some of you might have studied up product life cycle uh, in the subject uh, principles of marketing. the same concept can be applied here also life cycle casting so we have to analyze the stage in which a product or service is living based on the stage or level we can implement some strategies so that we can uh, extend the life of a product for example a product is in saturation level what is saturation level demand will come down Uh, production level will come down. It is called as saturation level. Still, possibilities are there for improving the demand of for our commodity. We can give some uh, free samples. Uh, we can uh, conduct some uh, campaigns, or we can uh, offer one to one uh, uh, by offer or buy one get two offer, etc. We can uh, advertise, or we can. Uh, go with some advertisement campaign and all for improving uh, the demand of our commodity so this is a, merely an example only likewise based on the stage in which a product or service is living we can uh, uh, select some strategies uh, for improving the profitability as well as productivity thanks a lot have a nice day